So now, yeah, the hate yeah, yeah. that hate produced. While city officials, state agencies, white liberals, and sober-minded Negroes stand idly by, a group of Negro dissenters is taking to street corner step ladders, church pulpits, sports arenas, and ballroom platforms across the United States to preach a gospel of hate that would set off a federal investigation if it were preached by southern whites. What are they saying? The people always ask, what is hate about? Why would you hate on anything? Why don't you fill yourself with love? We don't love the conditions that stand below love, so we gotta hate on that. And you know, I wanna, you know, I wanna say this here today too. If people are offended by so-called words of profanity, that word motherfucker, I didn't invent it. It was invented by a motherfucker who understands what a motherfucker is. Somebody to fuck over your air, fuck over your water, Fuck over your children. So I'm saying, don't get offended by the word. Get offended by the motherfucker that is standing behind the word. And do something about that. People talking about Pam Africa, talk profanity. But what is more profane than the act of these motherfuckers? I'm not confused about motherfuckers, okay? And I'm saying, we gotta learn to call it when we see it. And, uh, and don't be ashamed. To call it, and those that uphold them, we must not be afraid to do the righteous battle because our children, our mothers, our loved ones are on the line. Motherfuckers don't want me. Black skin never win in this motherfucking country. Motherfuckers act like it's cool. It's cool. Racism is a motherfucker fool. Who? Black billionaires and millionaires. High gloss with kingly ears. Occupants of the lid. That, that is America. Talk off what's usually there. Don't care enough to share in the mouth that truly dare. People laugh at us. We talk about Africa. You love it so much, nigga, go back there. Well, motherfucker, that's mighty whitey. Yeah, wish I could, cause I'm tired of fighting. Yeah, motherfucking ignorant asses. Lies talking classes. Make it hard to enlighten you. Yeah. But, luckily, Motherfucker, I'm patient. I woke with hope and a scope to say shit. Social agent amongst my peers and favorite. They love me for the dope be flagrant. Motherfucker, way I stated. Well, let me spit fire on these thieves. The Bush administration just the seas. Tell the motherfuckers. And niggas believe. Like Colin Powell, Condoleezza, JC Ross. We don't need ya. Can't y'all see y'all working for Caesar? Motherfuck. These motherfucking geezers, the same ones that smacked your pappy. Got all crappy when you patted your nappy and called you. Nigga. When he saw you. Nigga. The famous fuck on you. Nigga. Brian, times out of ten, I'm going to step on some toes and talk about some things that you consider be sacrosanct or, or semi-religious or things that are sacred to you. I might even talk about some of your black leaders. Hey, hey, harder. What I'm going to tell you today is very, very important for you. And I want you to understand that black folk in America in a world of trouble, you're in a world of trouble in this country, in this world, and contrary to what you hear, when it comes out of black mouth or white mouth, anybody that tells you that black folk are progress in America is lying to you.
future in which he would keep telling you to a lot of civil rights leaders, civil rights and integration does not decide equal opportunity for you. You cannot get equality through civil rights and integration. What you decide your opportunities in America is what you own and control. That's what decides your opportunities. You can have all the civil rights you want. You cannot go into an expensive restaurant or an expensive hotel if you don't have the money. They're playing games with you. You must own and control. And what they fail to tell you is that the, the whole process of slavery and Jim Crow segregation did not happen to black folk by accident. That wasn't any big accident. You to wind up being a slave for over 500 years of this country and 13 countries around the world. It wasn't an accident. It happened in history. What the leaders be asking is why did it happen to you? Why were black folk enslaved all those centuries? For what? That must have been a purpose. If that purpose was fixed, it would be fixed. Almost 100% of 99 and one half percent of all this nation's wealth, power, resources, privileges, businesses, and income, and controls of all levels of government. That was the purpose of slavery and Jim Crow segregation. So one group of people could live a very advantaged lifestyle, and these over here who are black would have nothing, 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 nothing. But I'm still troubled by you calling it a ruling class. I mean, this is America. It's a democracy. People get where they're going based on merit. All ruling classes are based on merit, Jack. The principle was as true of Nazi Germany as it was of Louis XIV's France. The question is, how do you define merit? Of what does merit consist? That's because in the old monarchies, merit was born in the blood. The question is, where is it born in America? Why don't we try to find out? Free Mix Radio. Hey, harder. But why is the bank committing so much of its capital and resources to the sale of these missiles? It's a test. Small arms are the only weapons used in 99% of the world's conflicts. And no one has the capacity to manufacture them faster and cheaper than China. What Scarson is attempting to do is to make the IBBC the exclusive broker of Chinese small arms to the third world. And the missile deal is the gateway transaction. You have billions of dollars invested simply to be a broker. There can't be that much profit for them. No, this is not about making profit from weapon sales. It's about control. Control the flow of weapons. Control the conflict. No. No, no. The IBBC is a bank. Their objective isn't to control the conflict. It's to control the debt that the conflict produces. You see... The real value of a conflict, the true value, is in the debt that it creates. You control the debt, you control everything. You find this upsetting, yes? But this is the very essence of the banking industry. To make us all, whether we be nations or individuals, slaves to death. African development, African nationhood, African empire. Revelation. Sunshine. Ecstatic. Black gold. Standing in the sun, getting black as I want. You playing good then, that ain't backing me up. Skywalker, baby, ain't no jag in my hammer. Got a whole lot to say, so I ain't talking to them. I hear him eavesdropping and turn it up louder. Black freedom, black genius, black power. Black angel printing the black dollar. And tell the CIA, I say, now what? And CC, a central bank. Loose change, body slamming, big money tanks. We tell God thanks. Y'all telling us that God don't rank. That's why your breath stink. Yuck. Lay off the bacon and the smokes. 
quit laying off the good work of folks. 